Once you know who you are, it puts you, it creates this inner sense of confidence that nothing can match. That's the first part. So I know who I am. I know my personal brand. The second part is I know my philosophy. I stand for something. Now this is kind of, I know that this sounds like a vague concept, but it's very, very powerful. The question is, if I said to you, what do you stand for? And I'm only going to give you one word through which you need to encompass your entire philosophy on life. What would you choose? Let me give you an example. My one word is magnify. I'm an increase guy. I'm all about increase. You give me something and I want to increase it. I'm not the guy that wants to settle. So people that talk about satisfaction and settling hate me. They hate me because I cause a lot of cognitive dissonance in them. But one of the things you must understand is if you're sitting on the fence about something, you're not going to be noticed. And it's not about being controversial for the sake of being controversial. It's about knowing exactly who you are and being prepared to stand for it regardless of the opposition, the criticism and the ostracization that you have in the process. Because let me tell you an interesting fact about psychology. Did you know that when you irritate somebody, they prioritize you in their mind? They do. Because it takes all of their attention. What do you think Donald Trump does? <laughs> Certainly not advocating that that's what you do, but what I'm saying is if you have expertise, if you care about something, if you do have the heart to solve a problem, make sure you also have the visibility to match it. Otherwise, you're not going to get the opportunity. So the second thing is philosophy. First thing is who are you, your brand. Second thing is your philosophy. And third thing is your message. What is your message? Now, you might be thinking, well, I'm just a plumber, or I'm an architect, or I don't have a message, this is what I do. Well, guess what? If that's how you think, in 10 years, you're going to have downward pressure on your wages if it's not already happening now. Because people don't do business with people based on what they do always, it's based on who they are. If Richard Branson walks down Times Square, New York today, and he decides to start a new company in an industry where he's had no experience, you know what's going to happen, right? He's immediately going to attract funding He's immediately going to attract investors. He's going to attract public relations. He's going to attract the top talent. Why? Because it's Richard Branson. So the question now is, why aren't we all building a personal brand in an economy where who you are is way more important than what you do?